when doing data prep, the data comes in all different shapes, sizes, and types. And in some cases, like I have here, I've got spot elevations that represent, uh, uh, well, I got text that represents spot elevations. You can see that it's just a piece of CAD text and the actual text value is the, the number with a plus sign. Some of it has the plus sign before the number, so there's a little bit of difference between the, the two types of points. However, they're, they're not really points, they're just CAD text. And we want to use them in the software for data prep. Now there are a couple things you could do is I could generate a line string and when I create that line string as a break line, if I click in this location for the coordinate and then pick the spot shot, you can see that it actually picks up the elevation of the point or the text to use for the starting point uh, of my line string or my break line. Now, that could be a, a lot of work, and I maybe don't want to go through and do that because here's just a spot, so I'd have to draw a break line to some place. So what I really want to do is just turn these into points. So that's where this point tool comes into play. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click Spot, and it's the Create Points from Spot Elevations command. The spot indicator is part of the elevation label, so that's the text uh, plus sign. You can see you can do a letter X, a decimal point, or the insertion point. So we're going to use the plus sign. We won't worry about the base elevation. We're going to set the layer to DTM spot, and we're going to put a starting number for our point to maybe a thousand, and we'll just call it Propose Ground Shots. Now we have to select the object, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select by layer, and I'm just going to go ahead and pick on that text, so you can see it picks up all the text on that layer. The other thing I want to point out was you'll notice that the text is not at the proper elevation. It's actually all are, they're all at different elevations depending on where they're at, but they're not at the proper elevation for that piece of text. So what's going to happen is the elevation is actually going to come from the text value, not the Z value of the text insertion point. So when I click apply, it asks me what is my number. Now in this case I can do both because I know that these are all I have here are spot elevations. Um, so I'll click OK and we'll just accept that as our it falls northing and easting. You see there's a bunch of points that have been placed. And if I turn on the points ID and the elevation, you can see now the point has taken on an elevation of that, uh, that piece of text. And the location is at the plus sign. So you can see even on the ones that have the plus before, it's there, and the ones that have the plus after. And if we come over here, I think there is some text that is swell, you'll notice that the text that says swell because it doesn't have a value or a number didn't get accepted. So that's how you can quickly turn a bunch of points or text with uh, spot elevations into points with the proper elevation and now we can use to build our surface for our model.